uh, and now at this place write the resume file or upload resume file and select this contain and you can place this into the header file and insert one more row below and here write select uh, resume file and column and place uh, standard tab and file upload control and I rename this file upload that file upload resume okay. and we can also apply a validation that uh, anybody if uh, he is submitting the resume then he or she uh, should not uh, take a, uh, he or she should not leave this field because uh, a resume file is must for the applying for the jobs error message please select a resume we select resume and Control to validate file upload resume. Save it. Hmm. Now, first of all, whenever we uh, we open first time this uh, after login, this information should come automatically from the database table. So, for this, what we have to do in the page load event write some database code so i just uh, i have already written this code so i just drag and drop and this is the code that first of all we have to uh, use a system dot web data dot sql client and write this code that we have to create a connection and give the connection a string open the connection uh, create a command object and connect command dot connection equal to con and and create a select query command text for select star from the tbl users users is the table where uh, data is inserted in after the registration and where login id and login id is come from this session because at the time of login we have added the login id in this session and we have also restricted this page that the user cannot open this page without login so that there will be there will be must a user in the session so uh, we have collected this information and place the code and uh, uh, use a data reader execute reader command dot execute reader after the data reader we have applied a condition for reading the rules and first row is readed and uh, we have extract all the information name address contact number and mail id and place this information to the text box and after that close the connection and let's see how this works so for this just go to this okay, sorry. and refresh it well, let's start from the beginning yeah Let's, uh, if I want to apply for the job, so here is the jobs and, and go to the detail after detail apply now and we have I have to log in for applying this job. So this is my login ID and password. So I have logged in and after that I go to the jobs and go to details and apply now. So now this information is automatically come in this form. And rest of the information uh, we have to sub uh, we have to enter in this and after that select uh, we can select a resume file from here and submit this resume. So all the information in this file in this form is inserted into the database 
some database table and and uh, the resume file which is selected from here is submitted to the and now what we have to do next next that now first of all we have to create a table in the database so i just go to the database and create a table uh, i r i d this id for the resume id and it should be the auto incremented field so let's take uh, identity specification identity is yes after that uh, give me name where care we address and put a where care and we phone take where care we mail id where care and uh, uh, this is general information after that we tenth where care and we twelfth data type is where care and grade uh, graduation post graduation and uh, resume this is the all the field which is present on the uh, in this form we have taken uh, perhaps uh, one or two okay mail id and i think we have taken all the information now save this table and give the name tbl resumes this is our table now on this submit event we have to write the code for the submission of uh, inserting this query to the database so what we have to do first of all we will upload the resume file into this uh, on the server uh, and for collect for keeping the all resume files we will create a new folder in the server in our website give name resumes and now we will write here some file upload code uh, let's create a separate folder for uploading the uh, resume file public and give a return type of a string because uh, this function will return the name of the uh, file and upload resume file and now now we will write some uh, code uh, whatever file is selected in this file field um, how we can upload this so for uploading the file we have given file upload a resume it is the name of control and dot save as uh, first of all let's uh, let's give a condition that file upload resume dot as file it will check that uh, whether uh, this uh, field is selected any file or not so if uh, any file is selected this has file property of file upload resume will return the true otherwise it will return false so when it returns the true <coughs> we will upload this file and give the file name here with the location here we have to give the complete path of uh, our file where we have we want to place the we want to save the file but uh, in the local system it is 
uh, find that we can give uh, any path of, of uh, like c colon and other file name a folder name and after that folder slash fly folder name and file name but when uh, we upload this uh, website on the server on the server we we are not able to know the exact physical location of of, of our application that in which drive and in which folder our site is placed so for getting the dynamically the path we have to use server dot map path server dot map path will map our location uh, and uh, return a physical location so slash slash 